I'm Sherry Ripple and I am a pre-kindergarten teacher at Topeka Collegiate located in Topeka, Kansas. And I'm excited to share with you a virtual story time. And this is the book that we're going to be reading. It's called Our Tree Named Steve and it is by Alan Zweibel. And when I was a little girl, I used to love climbing trees. I would climb all the way to the top and sing my little heart out. And right now where I live, I have several trees, but two of my favorites are called sycamore trees. I have one large one in the front yard and one large one in the backyard. And this one came from the large sycamore tree in my front yard. It's pretty big for a leaf. I wanna show you one from the sycamore tree in my backyard. And this has been five months. <laughs> that it's been sitting in the backyard in the very corner. So it's pretty delicate, but look at that. Look how big it is. It's way bigger than my head. Anyway, I love trees and we're gonna read today about a specific one named Steve. Now this book is written as a letter from a dad to his kids that are here on the front of the book. And it's about this tree. So let's read about it. Dear kids, a long time ago, when you were little, mom and I took you to where we wanted to build a house for us to live in. But in order, order to build there, men had to come and clear the land. I remember there was one tree, however, that the three of you could not stop staring at. Adam thought it was crying. Lindsay said it looked nervous. Hmm. And sorry, who was only two years old, couldn't pronounce the word tree, so she called it Steve. I love you, Steve, she kept saying, and then Adam and Lindsay started saying it too. And before too long, Mom and I got the hint and asked the builder to please save Steve. The day we moved in, Steve was there to greet us. Pretty close to the house there. He quickly worked his way into our lives as a swing holder, target, third base, hiding place, jump rope turner. A lot of fun tricks for a tree. And whenever our dryer broke down, he held our underwear with pride. Have you ever seen that clothesline hanging, having people dry their things on it? Right there in the center of our yard, this weird looking tree grew to become the center of our outdoor life. Through all our barbecues, campouts, and dance parties. Oh, that sounds like fun. Hey, even when we're not in school, we can do those things with our families if the weather's nice. Or when Adam and Lindsay started getting crushes on the Simon kids next door, Steve adjusted to our every need are growing up a little bit. And it wasn't always easy, standing tall through the snowstorms in the winter. Snow can get really heavy. Or when Uncle Chester napped in the hammock, that couldn't possibly have been fun for Steve. Not to mention the time that the sewer overflowed and Steve sucked up all the smelly water before it drowned Kirby. Do you know who Kirby is? It's right there. And then he got so sick, Steve, himself, that the tree doctor had to go give Steve a haircut that made him look like a big thumb. Aw, poor Steve. Through the years, Mom and I have tried to show you in a world filled with strangers the peace that comes with having things you can count on and a safe place to return to after a hard day or a long trip. Which brings me to the point of this letter. Last week, a storm hit our area. Uh-oh. What do you think is gonna happen? <gasps> and though we spared Steve's life a long time ago, this time we couldn't save him. What do you think happened? He's darker than he was 
I wonder if it was lightning. Are we sad? Sure we are. But even in his final moments, when he could have fallen on our house, Sari's swings, Kirby's house, or mom's garden, Steve performed his last trick and protected all of us to the very end. And friends like this are hard to find. What do you think Kirby's feeling right now? So, when you come home from Grandma's next week, Steve will not be able to greet you as he's done in the past. I'm sorry. But please know that Steve will always be with us in our hearts, in our thoughts, and in a different tree at the other end of our yard. See Steve? See Steve in that picture? Look what they did with Steve's wood. They built a tree house. See you next week. Love, Dad. And here's a picture of some memories with Steve and the children. So, even though we can't finish our year together like we wanted to, we can still do some really awesome learning and take what we've built already and some creativity and have a really amazing online learning experience. So thank you so much for joining me for this book and I'm wishing you all very well and I'm so glad you joined me today. Thank you so much.